I was baptized as a kid, so I didn't think that that was something that I needed to do or that I would really get any benefit from. When we moved back to Illinois, we started to go to some different churches in the area. I had grown up going to one, and eventually we stopped going to anywhere, and we couldn't ever make ourselves get there. It was too hard in the morning with our daughter. We had kind of been getting to the place where our marriage was actually really feeling rocky, um, and we were having a lot of trouble. And the one thing that was just incredibly clear above all else was if we were going to fix our marriage, we needed to bring God back into it. And we said, okay, we got to get back to church. Some weeks we'd watch online. I kind of struggle sometimes focusing on a video on TV. I had been actually praying for probably 10 years, and I really was just praying for God to work in his heart because I saw a lack of personal connection with Jesus. If you will call on him, repent of your sin, meaning choose to turn from your old way of life and place your trust in him, God will forgive you the penalty of your sin. I remember listening and I didn't really realize that I was crying. It really was just this moment of realization like, okay, wow, this is like what I've been praying for for as long as I can remember. We love you, we're proud of you, we're standing with you. This is your moment. I felt like I'm watching these people go to get baptized. I was like feeling that pull, but I was in my kitchen. And I told her, I said, if we were there, I would be getting up and I would be going down that aisle. Within like five, six minutes, I look over, she's at the door with both kids, ready in record time. About the third of the way through the 11 o'clock service, yep. we got here. I felt like, a kind of a cross between like Christmas and then like graduation when you're waiting for like your name to be called to like walk across the stage and like I was so excited and then he said I want you to come down front right now come on church let's give it up for all those who are coming down front and everybody was clapping and I just like I get exhilarated even now just remembering and talking about it because I just had the biggest smile and I felt like I had just won some prize Proud of you, we're standing with you. This is your moment. I wasn't necessarily prepared for what life after baptism would necessarily be like. Maybe things will just be, everything's gonna be great, but I have continued to face challenges. The incredible thing is that now I don't feel despair whenever I get into a situation like that. I feel his presence with me now on a daily, basis. After Ray was baptized, I got him a Bible. And one day I walked in, tears were just pouring out. And I said, oh, what's wrong? And he said, and he said, I've never read the words of Jesus before. He said, I don't even want to stop. He said, I just, all I want to do is just sit here and just read his words. Something I didn't even realize I was longing for and really needing was a spiritual leader. He is that for us. That day was just kind of, it feels like the beginning of our family. 